Hello, my name is Paul Boag and I want to just spend a few minutes giving you my first impressions of the Apple AirPods. I know I'm not the first person to review these things and um, I doubt I will be the last, but some of the people um, who follow my videos have asked me um, my impressions, especially as I've been tweeting about these a little bit. And so I thought I'd spend a few minutes just uh, telling you what I think. And the summary is, I think these are possibly the best thing that Apple have come up with for years. Apple have a track record of taking something that has existed before and simplifying it and bringing it to the mainstream. So we saw that, didn't we, with the iPod. There were MP3 players before the iPod. Yet they were difficult to use, they were a pain in the neck, and the iPod changed everything. And they did the same with the smartphone when they came out with the iPhone. And I feel like they've done the same thing again with Bluetooth wireless headsets. Because, let's face it, there have been Bluetooth earphones around before. Especially the last few years, we've seen a proliferation of them. Um, and I've tried some of them myself. Now, um, obviously there's been Bluetooth headphones for a long time you know the ones over the ear ones but it's only relatively recently that we've seen um, earphones come along and they've had all kinds of different issues with them um, the, the the sound quality hasn't been amazing um, they've suffered from dropout quite a lot um, battery time has been very limited um, connectivity has always been a bit fiddly with them and my personal bugbear, there's been all kinds of problems with um, uh, audio sync, especially when you're watching video, you'd find lip sync was out um, of sync all the time. And I have to say that these little babies have solved all of those, um, uh, and all of those problems, and they've done so remarkably well. You do very occasionally get a little bit of dropout on them, um, but not very much. The audio quality is just as good as um, the Apple earphones, the, the ones with a, a cord. Um, and the best of all, from my point of view, is that they have solved the video um, lag problem, the lip sync problem. So you can now use these to watch videos, to YouTube, Netflix, the whole works. I've tried a lot and it, it, it all works great, which for me is wonderful because I watch a lot of video. Um, so they, they're a huge improvement from that point of view. Um, and they're, they're also so easy to set up, uh, which is, is an absolute pleasure. They're easier if you're a part of the Apple ecosystem. So for example, if you've got an iPhone, um, you can basically, you just open them up um, and then immediately on your iPhone, you'll get a pop-up message saying, do you want to connect with these? Um, you say, yes, I do. And then not only does it connect you to the iPhone, um, but it'll also connect you to absolutely every single dev Apple device that's connected to that iCloud account. So they were instantly appeared on my Mac, they appeared on my iPad, etc. Now, if I had to be super critical, I would say that maybe the interface for these different devices, uh, different devices is not consistent, so it's slightly different the way you connect on, um, you then connect to these on the Mac and the, uh, the iPad and the iPhone, but that's just a minor quibble. The fact that they're instantly paired with all of these is just brilliant, and it's very easy to switch backwards and forwards between devices. Um, it'll always uh, uh, connect to the last device that you were using, but it's so easy just to switch over to whatever device you're currently uh, working on. So I absolutely love it from that point of view. Um, in terms of fit, uh, if you have found that the Apple earphones in the past have fit, uh, fitted you okay, then these will too. I know not everybody gets on with these, um, not with this fit. Uh, if you have problems with Apple earphones in the past not fitting or not staying in your ear, um, you might want to consider giving these guys another try. One of the reasons that I um, found that um, earphones, the previous I, um, Apple earphones would come out of your ear, it was actually because of the cable. The cable would tug and then it would be enough to pull it out of your ear. Because this doesn't have the cable, actually these sit very securely in your ear 
and don't move anywhere. They're, they're not going to come out. And I know a lot of people have been afraid that these are going to fall out of your ears and you're going to get lost. Um, but actually, that's not, I, certainly I don't feel is the case. They've been felt very secure. Um, and, and so can't say more than that. It's, it's, it's really great from that point of view in terms of fit. Um, the only occasion I think I would be worried about losing them is if I, I'd taken them out. Because uh, one of the features is when you have this, in, you know, you're playing these in your ear. If you if somebody comes along and what you want to pause the music, you just remove one of them from your ear and the music would stop. If you then put that down somewhere, I think that's more likely when you're going to lose it. So what you're going to want to do is put them back in the case. Fairly obvious. Um, but it is possible you'll lose them in that context. Um, so, which brings me on to controlling these things. So, as I've already said, you can easily um, uh, pause uh, music or video simply by removing an ear pod, per pod from the ear. You can also set it up that if you double tap on it, it will play or pause um, whatever it is that you're listening to or watching. But what Apple want you to do is they want you to um, have that set up with Siri. So actually, you control your um, audio and video experience using Siri. That, I think, at the moment, is the weakest part of the experience. Um, for a start, it's not always appropriate to play and pause and go forward and back in video or to increase volume or decrease volume by speaking to Siri. It's slightly like a delayed thing for a start because you have to say Siri and then you know, all the rest of it. Um, but also, I think there's a, a problem that it's not always appropriate because there are other people around and you feel a bit of a, a numpty doing that. So it would be really good to have those physical controls, which you don't have at the moment. Um, in Apple's attempt to simplify the experience, I think maybe they've gone slightly too far in that particular area. Now, if you've got an Apple Watch, that's not a problem because you, you, know, um, you can have play and pause controls on the watch itself and that enables you to, to do it all on your wrist. So for me, that's not a very big deal, but for other people, I imagine it could be slightly frustrating. The other problem that you have with Siri is that Siri is quite limited in its functionality compared to, say, something like the Amazon Echo. Um, so although Siri have opened up to, uh, or Apple have opened Siri up to third party developers to integrate their apps, they have limited what functionality is available. And one of the things that they have um, stopped people from uh, doing is controlling audio through Siri. So although you can skip tracks in Apple's music, you can't do that in Spotify, right? Although um, you can skip tracks in Apple Music, you can't um, fast forward or rewind in an audio book, in Audible. Um, and so I think this makes it quite limiting in terms of um, how much control you have using these earbuds. Yes, um, Spotify will pause when you remove an earbud. Yes, um, so will Audible, but it, it's not quite right in that regards. But that is a trade-off I am willing to make for the huge convenience uh, of this, um, these headphones. You don't have to deal with tangled cables anymore. Yeah, um, uh, and they're just a pleasure. They just work. You put them in, you get a beep telling you that you're connected and away you go, right? It is that simple. Um, and that is what Apple was always about. It just worked. Now, one of the other concerns that some people have had about um, uh, Bluetooth earphones, especially ones that are as small as these guys, is battery life. You know, some people spend their whole day at work listening to music, um, and when you hear that, that um, these things have got a five-hour battery life, you're going, well, I work at least eight hours a day, five hours isn't going to be long enough. But... Actually, that's not a problem. Let me tell you why. Well, for a start, five hours, I think is flipping impressive for something of that size. Um, so that in itself is, is very impressive. But the truth is that there are very few situations, at least in my life, where I'm wearing a pair of headphones for five hours solid, continually listening to music. Now, what happens is, that you're listening to music on and off throughout the day. Now that could well accumulate to more than five hours. I'm not saying that it wouldn't, 
but it won't be in a single fitting, uh, sitting. And what will happen is that, say, for example, when you stop for lunch, you take your earphones out of the ear, your ears, and because you don't want to lose them, you pop them in this little jobby. And this will charge them. In fact, in only 15 minutes, it will add another th um, three hours of listening time, right? So even when you pop to the loo and you take your earphones out and pop them in this, you'll find that actually you get considerably more listening time. This has got an additional 24 hours on top of the five hours that is in the headphones itself. Then also, the other thing you can do, let's say you're doing a long car journey where you wouldn't be taking the, um, them in and out, you could just wear one of the earphones at a time. So that gives you a total of 10 hours between your two earphones. So in essence, I think they have solved the battery problem, which is an enormous thing to overcome when it comes to something as small and uh, condensed as this. Now, you might be wondering whether you can use these with non-Apple uh, devices, and I can tell you that you can absolutely. Slightly more cumbersome to pair. So um, there's a tiny little button on the back that no doubt you can't see here. Um, that you press and you go through the normal pairing process you, you would use. Not quite as seamless, but still pretty good. Now, I've tested this and it works. Um, uh, I've also tested it with the Apple TV because the app, for some bizarre reason, the Apple TV doesn't auto-connect like your other Apple devices, and it works just great. Um, I can't recommend these highly enough, basically. Yes, there are some areas of improvement. Yes, I'm sure the second generation will be um, better. Um, but I have to say, as a first generation product, they have, in my opinion, um, you know, knocked the ball out of the park. I, you know, I cannot praise these enough. If you can afford it, get yourself a pair. I promise you, you won't regret it.